Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back. It is good to see you here for some more Flotsam as we build our city on the sea. It is really looking nice with four people now amongst our city. We're going to go find some more survivors, of course, after we salvage some more materials. So thank you very much as always for showing your love of the game and the series and the channel by smashing the like button. And welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are great, so thanks for doing so if you do. And, uh, yeah, just welcome back. It's going to be a lot of fun today as we're starting to get bigger and better things in our city. We just finished some research, I believe, uh, for the scrap yard or whatever the building may be called. Something we need to build in order to uh, salvage some other stuff in the future. We'll need uh, a lot more metal to do that. And uh, we'll eventually be able to make pipes, which will allow us to make better uh, distillery uh, items in order to purify water. And that, of course, will make more water with less labor and less materials and make us a much more effective colony. Right now, people are uh, jumping aboard this old island here to load up on all the things that are inside. We've got some dry wood. Looks like all the metal's been salvaged. Some food and some more books, which are always welcome. Seems like any time we're going to do any sort of research, around 15 to 20 books are needed at the time. So uh, we're going to try to find some more of those as we go along this giant ocean. So once we're done here, we'll probably proceed forward and see if we can find another uh, area that has a small town, a uh, shack town. Those are pretty good. Uh, to go visit anywhere with a green flag we've already been to. So what we could do is swing over to this shack town and then up here to the lonely island to get another person to help us out and then eventually maybe make our way to a seaweed-capped rocks. But, of course, the plan can change based on what we find and what things might happen. All right, looks like everybody's thirsty. Luckily, we got plenty of food and a little bit of water with more being made at the distillery. Let's speed up time here so we can see more of the game in the shortest amount of time possible. And firewood's also being made so that way uh, the distillery can keep on functioning. Although it kind of is like a one-to-one -one ratio almost sometimes. Whenever the distillery's going, it gobbles up any firewood that's made almost immediately. Okay. Another trip, I think, is needed to this island before we leave. Looks like a couple of books are remaining. So we'll have one person go over there with the boat, grab a couple of those, and come on back as soon as they can. And they're probably sleeping, I think. Mm, yeah, I see somebody there in the bed. Oh, and they're tossing and turning all night. It's kind of hard to tell if anybody's in bed because there's always like a little lamb or something like that. Like a stuffed, what looks like a llama or something on their bed. All right, here goes the final delivery here. Plenty of plastic in this area too and also plenty of wood. So it might be a good idea for us to stop and maybe make some more uh, storage. But of course, we want to be focused with our limited amount of people on simply gathering and refining and gathering and refining and repeating the process. Speaking of refining, let's go ahead and turn on the oil refinery on. Excellent. And fantastic. Very good stuff. What do we have for food? Uh, let's see. We have really nothing else that needs to be made into food. So we can't really do anything at the chop shop at the moment. Of course, that uh, refines our seaweed growers into actual consumable meals. And water is starting to come back in. Good. I wonder how much our uh, little island can store here. It looks like 40 water can be stored on board inside that large what looks to be a lighthouse on top of the little uh, tugboat let's go ahead and maybe get to the center now of these two piles let's move our boat just slightly into the middle of the uh, wood and uh, plastic piles there we go and now we should be able to uh, gather all those materials with little to no effort let's go ahead and have one boat come this way and we'll gather some materials here looks like 185 there we go. It's about the highest number I can see here. 184 is close enough. We'll send somebody there in a boat. And we'll do the same with the plastic. Of course, plastic will be very critical for making fuel. So we need to make sure that we also grab that too. Alright, two boats ready to go. Water is kind of dwindling, but still where we need it. Firewood's being made. That's great. Always good to have extra of that in storage. And with four people on board, I'm assuming two people are on the... Uh, island, or, well, the city, and two people are out gathering as we already requested two boats to go out and gather. Excellent. The art style in this game is really beautiful, but I feel like this is a much more brutal game than it seems. There's a lot of um, living by the skin of your, uh, your teeth or flying by the seat of your pants kind of deal, where, uh, you know, you're always coming close to catastrophe, but if you can avoid it, things will be all right. And I don't think there's a difficulty setting, setting in the game. It's more about what you happen to find and uh, planning your moves, almost like a chess move based on how much fuel you have, how much materials that you need, that type of thing, and not going back to islands that you've already discovered, that type of thing. Looks like we've already been here to the seagull nest, so we will eventually need to make our way back over this way then to Shacktown. Of course, that has a lot of good canned food, 
And we might be able to find water and things there too, though. It seems like there's uh, only water at what is called a, uh, a shipwreck site where a hull is above water. And uh, the hull has fl uh, fresh water inside of it. Okay, people are thirsty. Water is still pretty much holding around six or seven. But we need to stay here for as long as possible to gather all those materials. And the distiller is working on filling up the engine or the oil refinery. And I think we have enough firewood for now, so let's go ahead and have our firewood expert stop that job. As soon as they're done here with this next one. And then go over to the oil refiner, so that way wood and plastic can be brought in as quickly as possible. Now, I wonder if in the future we might be able to find some things in the... Oh, let's check the research tab. I'd like to see the, if there's a way to automatically capture some of this stuff. We have plastic recyclers. What does that allow us to do? Ah, it produces plastic nets. Now, is that for fishing? Or does that also help us to bring in material? We'll see. Solar still is what I want most, but we'll have to turn some of that stuff into pipes. And that's going to require more people for us. Oh, it looks like we can also build homes which house two people rather than one. And it'll require eight knowledge. Though we'll have to stop by a bookstore or something for that. Food truck, fish kebab, fishing hut, all end game uh, cooking items. And we'll go ahead and turn off the oil refinery for now. So basically we should have uh, yeah, one person working on all of the dryers, one person working on the plastic, and one person on the wood, and then another person on constant distilling. But I suppose we can have this person go back to work at the woodworking shed and to continue to make firewood for the distillery. Alright, very good. Lots of plastic being gathered. Wow, quite a bit of plastic. Might want to build another uh, boat soon, but it seems like we won't need to until we have another person. But we could give it a shot. It's always important to do that. And we'll need to build our city a little bigger. Though we are starting to reach the city limits over here. We can always expand and always redesign and reclaim items too. Let's at least make another parking lot for a boat. And when we go and get another person, we'll have uh, three or four people out scavenging and uh, one or two people at base. Wow, we can really stay here for a long time. Uh, eventually, once we get upgrades, we can delete these beds and then replace them with houses. So that way we can be more efficient with our space. Looks like we're not carrying too much stuff on board, which is kind of a good thing. As we're making use of uh, building stuff rather than gathering stuff. Okay. Well, if we do this, we might be able to catch fish, though I think at the chop shop, we can only make seaweed salads or bird chow that birds can eat safely, but it doesn't really seem to give any food for our people. So we might have to uh, research something in order to cook the fish. Let's see what's under research. Ah, fish kebab at 12. We'll probably have to get something like that then in order to process the fish. All right, let's keep on gathering materials. Ah, the music is so peaceful. Any space game or any game like this that has the casual guitar, banjo, uh, whatnot in the background always just feels appropriate for whenever there's kind of endless travel in an endless sea or endless space. It always seems so appropriate. For whatever reason, it always just seems to fit perfectly. All right, nap time for a few of our survivors. Or I think as the game qualifies them as drifters, which is appropriate because, well, for the most part, we're adrift at sea until we kick up the engine. I also remember seeing in some of my older playthroughs, we actually have the option to use a uh, sail at some point, and we can research that. I think it might move slower or something. I mean, there's something. It, maybe it's a huge material cost, but eventually it'll uh, bring you where you need to go. We could build another distillery. Hmm, I wonder where we could put that. Maybe around the backside. Might be a good idea to have more than one water producer. But then again, that means more hands on deck working on that stuff. So let's keep pe people free for now. We're, we're good. As long as we just continue to bring in materials, we'll be alright. Firewood's being made. Okay, I'm going to ask for another boat to be produced. And I'm going to go for another salvage boat. There we go. And we'll try to get one more person on gathering. Since we have plenty of firewood. That should be quite a bit for a while for the distillery to make all that fresh water. Good. Very good. 
Oh, storage. Looking pretty good on storage. I think we can keep bringing in more stuff. Let's assign another boat to the plastic gathering. And there's also a larger storage that we can unlock. Even bigger than this. Called the large storage yard. And we'll need to make a few more ropes to do that. Let's go ahead and make some ropes. We'll just make a full order. Good. Very good. Alright, water and food are starting to get lower. So we'll need to... Uh, water's not a problem. We can continue to make that or at least stave that off. But we'll go to that new area very soon. And our goal today will try to be to swing over to the shack town and then rescue the survivor there at the Lonely Island. Which may be where we started originally. We'll see. More fish around too, but we can't process them until we have that other thing unlocked. So that's going to require more shack town visits for knowledge. And of course the bookstore at some point too. Okay, more wood being brought in. Plastic, very important too for fuel, since we'll burn that as soon as we move. Nobody napping. What's everybody up to? Looks like one of the boats is full and could be unloaded. Hmm, we have the storage yard here that's finally ready to go. Let's make a pathway that continues. And we'll make it out of wood. Nice. Ah, it doesn't seem like we can rotate items. But we can put in a few small storage yards here. Inappropriate to fit them next to the boats since they can quickly offload there. And material processing will be nearby. Alright, as soon as we're down to a few fish, we've got to go. We don't have any more farms, unfortunately. Uh, that can be used with the seaweed spores. So we'll have to go find those at one of those seaweed uh, areas. Alright, almost time to leave, I think. Plenty of wood. We need more plastic gathered, though. We're doing our part to clean the seas. Look at how nice everything looks. Again, very misleading in this game. Everything looks all pretty and cell shaded and whatnot, but uh, of course, death is waiting around every turn, at least in terms of uh, running out of materials. No pirates that I've seen in the game before. I don't think you can be boarded, but that'd be cool if we could actually meet with traders out at sea and trade, like, for example, a bunch of uh, fuel for a bunch of uh, food or uh, books for firewood or something along those lines. All right, things are going really nice now. Just a little bit more plastic together, and I think we're okay to roll out here. We'll go as soon as we reach two fish. I think it's about time we leave. I've also noticed when we're on the world map, when we're traveling, it doesn't seem like we're consuming food, but it is time now to go. All right, we've been parked here a long time. Let's go see if we can find ourselves some food at the shack down here, and then we'll head towards the uh, Lonely Island. There we go. All right, we have a viaduct up here, too. For uh, That gives us... Um, the viaduct actually gives us metal. Looks like there's another shipwreck up there so we can get water. I wonder if those replenish over time. It would make sense. Uh, let's see. It looks like we told our people to gather everything but the metal and the books. We had to leave in a hurry. So let's go ahead and grab that. It'd be nice to see, actually, if we... It'd be nice to click on a shack town if we visited there before it'd be nice to know that or, or what might be remaining it'd be good to actually like know what remains oh there's a mo a ma abandoned motor boats here that might be a good thing to go visit maybe there's food there what do we have left on the shack town oh good everything's been salvaged good okay let's go to the motor boat now see what's there cool how the Town actually is smart enough to move around objects. That's neat. Alright, what else could be over here? Looks like nothing really important nearby. Alright, let's slow down time and figure out what's inside here. We're going to need some food. 
Oh, we have some nails and some salvage. But no actual food. Now, the fishing boats, we still need knowledge in order to uh, eat whatever might be there. What is this option? Map. Oh, I see. It lets you switch between. Uh, fill up your engines to go to a new region. Hmm. Have we reached the edge of the map here, or is this just the edge of our site, maybe? Let's give that a try. Let's fill up the engines and see what happens. Let's turn on the oil refinery and see if we can leave. Our people will be okay for a little while. Without food, just a little bit. But let's see what we can do by filling up the engine. Lots of plastic being brought over. Maybe we can get lucky and find ourselves a... Um, I don't know, maybe an Arby's or something like that. Who knows what might lie in store for us in a new region. Now, uh, this seems to be the standard region. It kind of seems like a, a mix of like a European and a, maybe a American East Coast or something like that. But we'll see uh, what lies in store for us when we go to a, new, a whole new world. Yeah, it seems like making fuel is very expensive in this game, too. It takes a lot of plastic to do that until we've found some other way to either gather more plastic or to make fuel out of a different material. Yeah, quite expensive with the plastic. All right, looks like more fuel's being made. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. People are going to get awfully hungry. Should just have a just enough to get out of here. Somebody taking over at the old oil refinery. And we should be ready to roll here in just a second. Bum, 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 bum. Music is very catchy. It's taking a lot of time to get that last little bit of uh, oil. Just need one little tiny bit. Oh, we could actually go to a new region now. You're moving to a new region. This will use 75% of your fuel and you won't be able to return. Are you sure you want to move? Ah. So what it seems is that the game is actually just refreshing the map at the expense of your fuel. So it takes 75% of your fuel to go to a, quote, new region. And from there... Oh, wow. This was actually a good move. Two shack towns right next to each other? Okay. All right, let's stop here. Our people are starving. Let's go grab some food. We'll order somebody to go here with the boat. And we'll have somebody go to the other island with the boat. Good. Lots of materials here. Mostly wood. No plastic. At least at the shack towns. But there is plastic nearby the boat. So we'll be good. Okay. Boats heading out now on food missions. Giving us ten fu uh, food. Food. Well, that's a close one. Okay, so now... Wait, that didn't even... Wait a minute, that didn't even cost any of our... Uh, that didn't cost 75. That only costed what seemed to be 25. Hmm. wonder if somebody was still working at the refinery. Or the uh, fuel maker, though. We were down to a small amount of plastic waste. All right, let's get everyone fed up here. There we go. And food is back in town. Beautiful. Yeah, everybody, everybody eating right away. Good job, everyone. Okay. Well, that was good. We'll need some more books now, so that way we can do some more research. There's water nearby. Wonder if there's any more resources. Another shack town over there. Motorboats seem to give us uh, screws and uh, metal. I'm assuming the uh, vehicles probably do the same. Lonely islands nearby. Ah, there's also a seaweed-covered rock over there. This might be a good spot for us just to sit for a bit. Well, we have three boats, so let's send out three salvage missions then. 
So go ahead and send everyone out. Let's gather the rest of the materials now that we have some food. Always cutting it close, but we're always making it, it seems. Okay, so the boats are going out, and then the seaweed growers will be functioning as soon as they bring back the spores, so that'll increase our food supply. And then we'll just go ahead and turn on the uh, firewood maker and the distillery. Whenever we need uh, water, they'll go and make some. Luckily, we have a little bit. And what are they bringing back? Plenty of dried wood. Good. That way, we don't have to waste our time on getting the wet stuff and then dry it up. Plus, we have 100 wood, but that'll probably diminish as soon as we start making firewood again. Back to getting water. Plenty of wood being brought in. Very nice. How's our seaweed runner going? Don't see anybody over there. There he is. Good. So they're going out. That's our third boat there heading to the other island. Very nice. Now with more people means that we can constantly be doing jobs. So once we have more self-sufficient uh, equipment, things that we can constantly be gathering fish at sea so we don't have to stop at these islands, that will be the end game for us. We've come very close to uh, seeing people die, and it's quite exciting to see how close we can come to tempt fate before we're uh, done. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we've got seven fish. Oh, eight fish now. Must be food coming in from the seaweed uh, thingy, which means we should probably turn the chop shop on, and it is on, actually, so that's making more food for us. So let's see, the distiller is on with wood. Uh, the uh, woodworking shop is on, and the distiller is on for making fresh water. Very nice. Cool, we can basically sit here for quite some time on high speed and wait for everyone to come in. Plan out our next moves, then. I, I'm always constantly wanting to go and rescue people, but uh, I guess what we can always do is pay the fee of going to a new region. Shack Town is nearby. Ah, oh, a leaking water tower. That's back, too. That was in the previous updates as well. Uh, that, of course, is just like the uh, freshwater oasis, but I think it might provide more water. So if we ever need to go over there, we're good to go. We'll need more plastic before we leave, too, so that way we can... Um, of course, make more fuel to get there. Jeez, we really don't need any of the wood anymore. I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. We'll just bring in the metal. Seaweed is done. Great. Good job. And uh, I do want the books and the metal here, too. So let's keep that uh, mission going. And let's also grab some more plastic so we can continue to putz around the world. And we'll try to send two boats there. Good. Now, in the meantime, food is being made. We need to get water back up and running, though. So let's turn off our oil refinery. We can keep the plastic on board, but we'll refine it later. And let's cancel the food production for now. We got plenty of food for now, but not plenty of storage. Looks like we need more plastic, though, if we're going to get a storage yard going. But the larger storage yard requires a different set of materials, so let's set that over here. We can get organized later. Right now, it's mostly just get it done fast and cheap, so that way we can focus on the next thing. And water is approved, and so is firewood with it being on. Set to firewood, good. So we need somebody to come over and make some water. And we could also make our way to the freshwater uh, oasis if we want to. That's nearby. And, of course, we could always try to come back here, too. It's not like plastic or... Uh, let's actually go to the freshwater oasis. It's not like plastic is rare. So we'll come back for it later. And by come back for it, I mean we'll find it somewhere else. And eventually harvest it. Ooh, looks like we're actually close to... Uh... Can we move this? We're actually close to a uh, another seaweed-covered rock, so that'll give us food for a while. What we really need to find at this point is books, so that way we can be more self-efficient. Sufficient, but we also need to find people, too, to do the jobs. Alright, go ahead and bring that water in. Now we have 10 knowledge. Anything to store water? Small water container or water container 6. Right now I think we can hold 40 water. And this had 25, so I think we're okay. Okay. 
We'll have two people bring boats. Ah, good. We're making seaweed, too. Good work. And another boat going out. Good. Yeah, having zero is not so bad, so long as we have it for a short amount of time. Now, where's plastic? We have some on board to refine. Oh, that's perfect. Plenty of plastic over here at the old seaweed area. Let's go ahead and send another boat for that. And then we'll set a boat to salvage the plastic. A little too far, but we can sit here for a while now with all the water that we're bringing in and food that's about to be grown. Good to see that we're bringing in uh, spores, so that way we can grow food. So a great area to sit down for a while. So right now we're kind of in our cocoon. Before we expand ourselves further, uh, we're going to need a bunch of materials. If we, uh, if we have the research, we still need the materials to do it. And if we have the materials, we still need the research to do it. So, so we're going to need both in order to unlock some of this more endgame stuff. Um, some of these things here. What does a birdhouse do? A place where your birds can rest up before collecting all the resources nearby. So we can assign our bird then to go out and do some stuff too to be helpful. So maybe we should put him to work. Unless he flew away or something. I think the bird might leave if he doesn't get... Uh, if you don't feed him, he'll just get fed up and go fishing elsewhere. <laughs> He's a bird after all. So we can probably find another seagull somewhere. It's not as important to me though. I'd rather have uh, employees who can drive the boat. They can bring back much more. And, of course, make these salvaging operations faster. All right, we're standing by for... Some of that more, uh, more of that stuff to be brought in. We also need to work the distiller. We have literally no... No oil coming in. All right, water's good. Let's shut that operation down for a bit. Hey, everybody's busy with bringing stuff back and forth, so good for them. Good. Very good. Now, I would move closer to this, but again, we don't have much oil to move. So we're kind of going to have to sit here for a little while. But luckily, we're bringing back food. And we're bringing back plastic. So food and fuel are being taken care of. Boy, do we have plenty of metal scrap. That's great. I wonder if we could put down a scrapper now. Well, we could also put down some fish sticks, but those uh, don't need to be built at the moment. Hmm. More plastic required for the scrap smith. Right now, I really want more people. But also, that's going to require more food. So I need more research, then, in order to get more fishing done. Oh, good. We can move the boat now a little bit. Oh, you can see all the items in the game, too. Sushi, cooked fish, bird chow, plastic nets, uh, books and oil. Nice. Okay, let's move a little closer to that pile. It's pretty important to be over there. That way we don't have to be as far from our food and fuel resources. And there's a book. A little book thing over there. Good. Alright, let's set out the boats again. We'll send two this time. And there's still more spores at the little island. So we can continue to make fish for a while. Uh, sorry, seaweed. We can make seaweed for a while. Let's make sure this is set to on and also for seaweed salad infinitely. Good. So we should have plenty of materials that need to be made into food. Good. 23, in fact. So that'll make us some extra meals. And water's holding nicely, too. So we want to get to the point where we have about 8 to 10 people. Where about 4 to 5 people can be on the uh, boat at all times, working in the various jobs. And, like, 2 people can be out scavenging and 3 people can be out oh. gathering fish. So that'll be a good option for us. Okay, oil's being made. Oh, I love how they put the seaweed up there like it's a head of lettuce. And boy, oh boy, does that guy get excited about chopping. Chop, chop. I like how they call it a chop shop. That's great. Very, very funny. Very nice. God, I love the music in this. It's great. Okay. Food reserves are looking better. Fuel reserves are almost full. Got to keep bringing in that plastic, though. There's 102 plastic there. I need some more of that for future use. More people working the seaweed farms. Nice. Let's 
shut that down for now. All the plastic's being turned into fuel. Alright, yes, we want them out gathering now. Grab that plastic. Now that all the fuel's been made, I don't think we can store extra fuel. At least not now, unless we've researched it. And of course, that's what we'll focus on next. So next, I want to go up here to the, uh, to the intact bookshop. That's a long drive, though. Far and in between is a lot of materials. Luckily, we're good on wood for a while, though. 148 is a huge amount of wood to have. It's big. That's big O. Especially since we're not burning it to make water, but that'll be the case soon. More stuff coming in. Good. I love the research station. It's literally just a floating library. Wow, that's great. It looks like they're using things to dry papers. Okay, we have 10 knowledge at the moment. So the next thing I want to try to work for is the uh, solar still. So we don't have to worry about water. And we can make that when the scrapsmith is up. So we'll need to make the scrapsmith. We can finally do that now. We'll need more people, though, on board to operate these things. Hopefully we get that soon. Let's build that all the way out here. We'll make a little pathway there so we can extend this way. Actually, maybe I should put the path down first just to mark it. That's a future uh, area of expansion there. There we go. Okay, so the scrapsmith will go up. So that'll be built. And that'll be able to make pipes. Then we can start worrying about... Uh, well, we'll get somebody off of water production. And that'll free up some more hands. So that way we can go out and gather more stuff. How are we doing on storage, by the way? Oh, yeah, we're looking quite full. 245 out of 285. Luckily, everybody's working on the construction. And that will be that for today's episode. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for all the support. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And thanks, as always for showing your love to these videos. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for more. Take care and have a great day. Goodbye, everybody. Make sure you watch the playlist from the beginning if you haven't already. And you'll be able to see everything without missing a beat. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.